Okay, so I want to give some uh, assignment advice for unit 6.3 as you're about to go in and do the conversation starters and the worksheets. And there's also a comprehensive uh, quiz, I think is what it's called, um, for 6.1 to 6.3. So I want to talk about that a little bit and prep you for them because there's some, there's some traps. I just want to make sure that I'm not going to try to, uh, I don't think I'm giving away any answers. But I do want you to, before you do this, go back and review all of the vocab here um, because a lot of them show up in small ways, in large ways, some of them in the answers. So you need to be, you need to know those before going into it. Um, um, so to start with the conversation starters, oops, let me go. Um, what will be nice with the conversation starters is anytime they're introducing something that's not in the vocab, they will fingerspell it and then they will describe it. So um, curling and dodgeball. So uh, uh, they're not included in the vocab. Thank God. I, like, I don't know why they just didn't use ones we know, but it's a nice example to see how they explain. Um, they'll always fingerspell it first and then, oh, there. Uh, they'll fingerspell it first, and then they'll describe it, whatever the whatever the action is, uh, or whatever the new activity is. Uh, bicycling, actually, she describes one where she goes out in the woods and she signs woods, and then, and this is sort of like to explore the woods. Okay, so that's one, uh, and that's a little bit. I think that's three or four. Uh, it's one point four. So, the first conversation starter, uh, sports competition, sports. Um, second one, they're going to compare college and pro. So remember that we did that pro for someone's skill level, now comparing it to college. Um, and she signs, I believe it's like this. It's a little shorter than that, but it's basically nothing but net. Loves basketball. And when they, you know, nothing but net's the only thing that's coming into mind. I've seen variations on that like that. So it's all basically the same thing. And it kind of looks like it if you just watch them. So that should be good. Um, volleyball. Some people sign it with the ring finger. Don't know why. Volleyball, volleyball, basketball, softball, softball, football, tennis. Track is just racing. So again, it's sport, but it's a racing company. Here are two people. One gets ahead. The other one gets ahead. Right. Um, do, 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 do. And then the fourth one is, um, he does kickball, finger spells it, and then boom, like here's the kick, sending it flying, right? Send it far. Uh, video games, and then finger spells wall ball, and then bicycling. So those are the, the conversation starters are pretty easy. Uh, you should be able to watch all of them. Don't ever just take, if you, if you see the answer, if someone tells you what the answer is, if I tell you what the answer is, make sure you can see it in the video. Don't just go because it's going to pop up again and it's going to be in something where uh, it's there's no way, easy way around it. So just prepare for them to give you a cheap shot. Now, the worksheets, remember the difference between like, uh, it's unfortunate they, they show the difference between winter sports and water sports um, completely unironically. So... Uh, you know, it's, uh, I think I would have done warm sports, cold sports, but that's just me. Uh, so we've got skiing and water skiing. Uh, and the difference is, is there snow or water? It's all you need to worry about. So um, as you're signing it, if you're talking about skiing, is it water skiing? Is it snow skiing? Uh, is it water <laughs> wakeboarding? waterboarding, because that's the interrogation technique, versus snowboarding. And Trueway tends to use this. Most of the time in Ohio, I've seen this, but I'm sure there are regional variations all over. Um, look at the difference between the different types of skating and rollerblading, inline skating, um, and hockey. It, um, wish they would have taught like field hockey as well, because it would, which that come to think of it. I can't think of what the sign is for that. Anyway, um, hold on. Okay, 
That was odd. I'm on the page. I've been interacting with it. Let's just sign me out. Um, all right. So, do, 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 do. so that's the first worksheet going through some questions, looking at some different sports. So what you're going to do is you're going to be looking at, bump, bump, bump. oh, I'm, I'm back in. Why? Um, boop, boop, boop. Okay. So worksheet part one, it's going to be choose correct. Is it a winter sport? Is it a water sport or neither? Um, and I think there's 10 of those. I think there might be 10 of those. There may be fewer. Um, the next one is watch the signer sign different sports in a sequence and then look at the photos of the equipment. So you'll see the equipment. You just put what the correct sport, you know, choose a letter for the correct sport, basically a matching kind of thing. Um, again, I don't, there are no curveballs in that one. They're all pretty straightforward. And Uh, this next one, you there's a blank, and you're going to fill in that blank. So, um, yeah, they're very easy. Um, um, and you know what? Actually, let me just go back to the worksheet part three. You're going to see a word bank. And I've included that word bank right here. So practice that word bank first. Make sure you know all of those different signs before going into it. Okay. So those are going to be the selections. So it's worth knowing that beforehand. Uh, make sure you know those. Um, then the last is going to be the comprehensive or comprehension quiz. And that's here. Okay. Um, there are 12 questions in the comprehension. The key thing is don't be, don't just rush to get to the answer. They're going to give you most of the time two different comparisons, and then they're going to ask you for one of them. Okay. So, uh, the one she talks about her dad's cooking and how she feels about the food. Then she's going to ask you for one of those. Okay. So just be, don't just rush through it. Make sure you understand the sentence first, then the question, then watch it again and make sure you know the right answer. Um, and that's going to be the same for, uh, one through six, where I believe there's just one answer for all of them. Um, number seven has multiple answers. And I think you can see the difference because for me, it was like there were circles versus squares. Um, and one through six all say, uh, choose the right, choose the right answer or choose the best answer. Seven has select the answer, answer, um, in parentheses S and then eight also has that parentheses S, but there's back to circles. So I think it's only one answer. So just double check that. Um, again, if you look at the question, it should be very clear. Nine, 10, and 11 are all true false. So she's going to sign something and then she's going to sign something else. Is that true or false based on this information? Okay. So just to clarify, it's not, it doesn't, the first sentence is setting it up. The second sentence is the question or is the comparison. Then the last Number 12, the sentence that follows is kind of a non sequitur. It's like, do you like chocolate or vanilla ice cream? Or no, it's, I like chocolate or I, uh, I'd like chocolate ice cream. And then it's, I don't like Brussels sprouts. Nothing to do with the previous one, but I believe that's the answer. That's the trick question. So just so you are prepared, number 12, you're going to think you had, I don't know, a stroke or something because all of a sudden it came out and I watched it and went, what, what does that have to do with anything? So that may be the answer in itself. So those are the preps 
for the assignments for this. And we'll talk about some of the stuff in class, but hopefully that gives you some preparation for going in.